Uh, all right, uh, Spencer Crittenden's in friend. We got a we got a we got a boogie man. We did it again. We fucking harmoned it. I I, I I swear, you know, I guess I guess the same number of people come every week, but I, I just live in constant fear of everyone catching on that this is just a big waste of their time and uh, I guess there's gonna be a night when we walk in and it's just no one's gonna show up. Did you ever see you know, there was a there was a there was a I don't want to get off on any tangents tonight and uh, like like that's such a that's so dumb that I forced no. that as to my catchphrase. Right. Well, it wasn't originally. I heard myself yeah, you, say it the eighth time become, and I thought it was funny. Jack Benny. Yeah. Yeah. There was a uh, oh, there, Rochester. There was a documentary about chimps. I don't know if I ever talked about that. They, and they did, they showed how chimps don't they don't they don't really have cooperation in their spirit. I mean, they do for problem solving, but only if the alpha male gets to eat. And they put a board and they were these ropes. And then the alpha male comes in and he pulls one side of the board and he notices the rope will go all the way through the other side of the board. So he he'll unlock the uh, fence that contains the beta males and they'll come in and help them pull the board together and, and, and then they all get to share the food but if they only put food on, on, on uh, in the middle uh, of the board the alpha male will eat it all and then after that the beta male when the alpha male opens the door and says hey come on help me move the food the beta male will go fuck you not helping <laughs> you're a dick but Dan, like you're a you're a chimp I'm a chimp fuck you Dan that's not fair <laughs> not fair. and what we've learned from labyrinth is Life's not fair. I don't know. Uh, nah. uh, uh, ticket prices aren't fair. Um, the uh, anyways, I'm, I'm, I, I live. Uh, I live. I live in fear of the audience learning that lesson. They're gonna. They're gonna come and like. They're gonna go. Here, Ten dollars for Harmon Town, please. Right this way. Uh, sit down. Uh, uh, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing here on a Monday night? I don't know. I gotta fucking finish my thesis tomorrow. It's. I'm writing about uh, 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 contemporary uh, uh, racism and. <laughs> Something it's important. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be somebody. But and I, but I just don't want to miss anything important. And I, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Hyman Town. Welcome, Dan Hyman. Hey, uh, fat, uh, uh, mer- uh, masturbate all over everything. Uh, uh, I'm drunk again. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry for myself. I hate myself. You should give me a high five for that. Uh, I'm gonna take a shit on stage. Oh, it's makeup. Uh, my face smells like shit. Good night. <laughs> Off on a broomstick through the roof. <laughs> huh. Well, that only took two hours. <sighs> Time to drive home to Reseda. Does anybody hear now anything it's... pressing tonight they have to get back to? <laughs> Wait, what oh, person? Right, 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 you? I got. I have to draw animals in human clothes. <laughs> 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 That's the be- the best audience in the world. Like, Wait, uh, I mean, I, we have to repeat it because uh, uh, he s- he said I I I got dot dot dot. I have to draw animals in human clothes. <laughs> he and he and he lilted up at the end like it was a question in human clothes, like like kind of like yeah. a valley affectation, but also kind of like you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Half of you are animators. Sometimes, sometimes you're working in that department. Animals and human clothes that we have to draw. Uh, uh, is, is that your stumbling block? Is the human clothes on the animals that's throwing you? <laughs> it's, 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 it's between the two. Sometimes the animals are tough. Also, is there a difference between human clothes and uh, animal clothes? <laughs> in human clothes? Scale. Scale. <laughs> Wait. So- like the you have to draw a badger, animal, yeah. but he has, he's swimming in a t-shirt? Is that, is that if we're going to interrogate him, he just has to come up. I mean, we're yeah, not, get up the here, audience isn't mic'd. He's got to come up. Sir. How about this? Can you come up? Can we, can we incorporate him into our D&D? Are, are we going to do a quick D&D thing and make him an ancillary character? Yeah, so that way tomorrow, then, the, like, if, if, if life works the way movies work, then tonight you're gonna draw, your pen's going to be alive. <laughs> Because because you're like we, somehow the, the, there were animals and human clothes in the game and then come on up well uh, spirit yeah what's your name sir oh uh, Michael I'm here because of Spencer <laughs> oh no shit well uh, that, that, that nice segue let's uh, welcome Spencer our dungeon master Spencer <laughs> Spencer right. get us up to date last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> After swiftly and cleverly infiltrating Darkstar's stronghold, Sharpie and the gang were faced with a sinister staircase. Riding the confidence of their second level, they charged the stairs and into the Darkstar's clutches. Little did the Dark Lord know that they would be facing the newly acquired powers of our heroes. After a dramatic showdown, Admiral Darkstar reverted to a demonic form and escaped from another dimension. To another dimension. 
There they stood, in the ziggurat with Karen Broadleaf, a prisoner and member of the Butzalot tribe. <laughs> oh, that's right. We met, we met a girl who's from my tribe right. back, in, back in the realm of butts. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Character well, sheets uh, dispensed. Yeah. Dispensered. I think we, uh, if, if nothing else, we found our new theme music for, uh, for, for our D&D. Certainly for character dispensation. Thank you. The character sheets are being dispensed right now. These characters are level two. They've leveled up. They are now level two. Den. Don't defy me. <laughs> Sharpie Botzelot, you've come so far in your adventures. I feel so S- deceived. <clears throat> Deception is like soup, Sarah. <laughs> it happens every day. <laughs> but I hate soup. Then you'll have to have a fork. <laughs> Wait, he wants me to eat f- Soup with a fork. <laughs> a fork is just a spoon with slots in it, Sarah. It doesn't matter now. Give me the baby. The baby or you? You're bad people. You want my Bowie ball. Filled with such charms. You guys keep on speaking in metaphor. Take care of metaphor. the baby, Bowie ball. <laughs> Deep in your arms, babe. I examine my surroundings. <laughs> You're standing in the second floor of the dark ziggurat. As you look, you notice that the green emerald dagger you held in your hand not moments before is now floating in the air, spinning slowly. Holy shit! It's emanating a green energy. Energy that feels natural, as if it's from the forest itself. The ziggurat shudders and begins to crumble with you inside. Whoa! Yeah. Magic flight, let's get out of here. (laughs) That's not a spell, that's a Joseph Campbell term. (laughs) (laughs) Do, do Do we take that dagger or no? Well, yeah, it's, it's floating. And, I mean, it's yours. I, I, I grab the dagger. You grab the dagger, and it shines with a great green light. A burst of energy is released throughout the forest. Yes, I love energy. <laughs> Do you continue fleeing? I have a green dagger, you know, Sharpie. <laughs> Don't defy me. <laughs> oh, you can forget about the dagger. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we flee, we flee. You... you- you manage... Well, let's roll, actually. Uh-oh. Forgot about that part. You manage to escape the ziggurat. You stumble and fall, but catch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I do one of those moves where you kind of dust yourself off. It looks like, shoulders. like you meant it the whole time. <laughs> You escape the crumbling ruin as it tumbles block by block to the floor. It is destroyed. Can I, can I, I mean, I, I don't want to get greedy, but I, I, I didn't look back. <laughs> I never looked back. I, I, I fell out the door and I kind of like stumbled and I dusted myself off and I just didn't look back. And I just like a, like a good bowler, like, like, like turning away from a strike. As well you shouldn't have. <laughs> it was what? a strong move. Is there a path ahead of us? There is a path out of the forest. Uh, I range the path. Ha ha. <laughs> the path heads to the south. Is that back to uh, 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 ha- 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 Haven's, Haven's Garden? The town you were in before? Yeah. That's actually towards the north. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's go south. That yeah. way we won't, we won't let's just strike out in the new territory. We'll clutter this map up. What was the guy's name on stage again? Michael. 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 Yeah. I wonder if we're going to run into some weirdo on the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if there's any way we... <laughs> we... We got no business back in that town, right? Thornvale? That's what it was called, That's right? true. You, you don't have any business. To the south, I say. Hmm. To the south. Adventure. Karen Broadleaf chimes in. Our war camp is not far from here. Ah, you know what? I said something a couple adventures ago in a, in, in a, in a blackout drunk uh, <laughs> about going to uh, find my father and, and talking to him. Very true. Yeah. Hey, Karen. Karen? Karen. Karen Broadleaf? 
Karen Broadleaf. Ka- Karen Broadleaf. No, no, Karen Broadleaf. Karen Broadleaf. Yes. How can I help you? <laughs> no, Sharpie. It's pronounced it's a, Karen Broadleaf. It's a, it's a, it's Karen a, it's a subtle dialect. Broadleaf. Uh, hi. Let's go back to your camp. Take us to your camp. Don't you mean your camp? For Lord Butzelot does own it. Hmm. Is my dad there? He should be. <laughs> Although I admit I have been a prisoner, and I don't know what's happened recently. Oh, all right. All right, well, lead the way. You'll be much rewarded for uh, aiding uh, uh, the prodigal son on his gestalt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know what that word means, man. <laughs> Right. A, four, a four day march. Well, yeah. okay. So do we do we do we, do we just do we just it, can we just like kind of TiVo through that time or I think three that's... days pass uneventfully. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. It is before dawn on the fourth day. You are sleeping. I'm rolling perception checks. I guess they're listen checks. My bad. <laughs> Mole rain. Your ears perk up and you wake out of your trance. You don't oh. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a dude? It's my waking noise. Ah. Oh. Oh, so I'm awake. You hear wolf like howls off in the distance and a high pitched, ra- raspy cackling. Come on, Michael. Not soon yeah. after, you hear the pounding of feet in the grass. <gasps> oh. Soon you'll be surrounded. Sharpie! Quiet. Yeah, well, uh, Awake! Oh! <laughs> I heard noises in the night. Stumps coming this way. All right. Every- Unwrap from each other. I'm the leader. Everybody hide. <laughs> Quirk, wake up. Huh? 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 huh, huh? Hide. There's people coming. I had a terrible dream last night. <laughs> I had a dream I was holding three balls. <laughs> but- swirling them around in a circle. <laughs> but dreams aren't real. <laughs> I just but, want my brother back. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the house is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's Straub's idea. <laughs> I like that movie. No, I know. I'm both. I, I, ex- I examined the, the, uh, the oncoming threat. You don't see anything. Well, then fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I stop examining it. You All quit. Right. You stop successfully. Yes. Use your uh, half elf powers to uh, uh, see the threat and let us know what it is. I, I use my half half my half elf powers to see the threat. Using your elf eyes, you manage to make out four or five pairs of legs between the bushes. They seem very close, and they've been watching you. The legs. The legs. <laughs> Uh, bad news. Um, there are legs, they appear to be close, and they're covered in eyes. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, wait. Uh, just because we, we leveled up, bear with me. Do I have any spells that, um, so that I don't waste anybody's time? You can make an edit point here, but I'm just wondering, since we leveled up, do I have a spell that might uh, possibly... Uh, Make my voice sound really intimidating. <laughs> uh, do you have a ghost sound on there? I'm not sure. No. Uh, I guess you don't have it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm just going to... Hey, man, what do you want? <laughs> Putting on your best intimidating voice, you attempt to call out the enemies in the darkness. Your attempt sours. They cackle at your... Pitiful attempt to frighten them and ask what they want. Uh, oh, you! <laughs> that was the cutest cackle. Oh, you keep cackling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what What does my hat of disguise do? You don't know yet. <laughs> I put on my hat of disguise. You yeah. feel as if you could become disguised as something. I disguise myself as as I covered legs. <laughs> In a bush. You fail to disguise. God damn it. You can only disguise yourself as a humanoid form. 
I, I disguise myself as, as something closely resembling the, the, uh, the, the humanoids I see in the bushes. You didn't see any humanoids in bushes. <laughs> I, I, produce, I produce my Tanglefoot bag. You produce your Tanglefoot bag. <laughs> I throw, I show everybody. Huh? Right? Well, it's a nice hey, looking nice. Tanglefoot bag. Thank you. I, I, I throw my TFB at the bush. <laughs> Throwing your TFB towards the legs, it strikes against the floor before exploding. Tendrils of goo burst forth, wrapping the legs tightly. The oh. creatures are bound. Cool. God damn it. Ah. I, uh, I take my, uh, my big rage sword and go into a rage and attack with my the sword of rage. Whoa. <laughs> Charging yourself up in an angry rage and drawing your weapon in one fluid motion, you charge through the bushes at the unknown foes. You strike at the first one you manage to see. You hit it! Slicing right in the shoulder, you hit what appears to be a large hyena. It's standing on two legs. You know this foul beast to be a knoll. Matted fur covers its hide, and it holds a large axe. And it's wearing clothes, right? It's wearing some clothes. <laughs> a nice sweater? Human ones. <laughs> it's really feel this, Michael. Really, like, like, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing up here. Yeah. You're doing great. Thanks. No, I'm just saying, like, let it sink yeah, in. Man, like, I, like, like, see those animals with clothes. This is the work you'd have to do at home. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, yeah be, become, the, become the knoll that I just struck in the shoulder. And, you know, like, like, put yourself, like, become the, uh, the, 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 the human clothing clad animal. I'll make sure there's some like rips in it or something, just for you guys. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> you hit him for 15 damage and he dies. <laughs> Michael, everybody! Thank you, Michael. Uh-oh. Get to work. Right. You got work to do. Summon monster! Which monster? The orangutan! You summon the spectral orangutan. It shimmers into being! It awaits your command. Orangutan! <laughs> orangutan! That's more of a gesture. Orangutan? Orangutan! Orangutan! <laughs> the orangutan leaps into action. It manages to bite the ear of a knoll, dealing but one damage to the ear of the knoll. He leaps back in pain and draws his sword, charging... Right at the raging barbarian. He strikes a mean blow with his axe. At me? At you. But you manage to dodge. Yeah. I, pr- I produce my bow and arrow. Drawing your bow and arrow swiftly, you knock an arrow. Does that mean I shoot it? It means you pull it like back as if... Oh, well, and then I knock another arrow. <laughs> and then you knock another arrow. And then I shoot those arrows at the bush. I must remind you that shooting two arrows at once does cause a penalty. Yes, I saw the little post-it that you left on my paper. <laughs> He's like your passive-aggressive roommate. Uh, uh, you can shoot two mustard arrows. Mustard dries. <laughs> when the cap's not on. Mustard dries. One of your arrows hits its mark, and the other flies aside and plants itself into a tree. And grows an arrow tree (laughs) on the side of that tree. You deal nine damage to his stomach. He recoils in pain, but is not dead yet. Uh, Ghost sound, prestidigitation, dancing lights. Dancing lights. Oh, boy, that doesn't... That does not sound. No, dead no word in that description lights. sounds dangerous. I, I, I know. I, I, I cast dancing lights or whatever the hell. You summon a personal illusion of your choosing, <laughs> but small and minuscule. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so I got some lights going on. If you want, like, how describe it. Huh? If you had magical light emitting powers, what would you do? I have dazzling lights that bewilder the eyeballs uh, on the legs of the bush creatures, <laughs> and and for, and they're disoriented, uh, d- diminishing their power to attack us. They are a bit dazed. It's true. <laughs> Sharpie, do something. Ray of frost. <laughs> Ray of frost. 
Frost. Ray you of ready for Frost. This? Oh, 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 oh. I cast Ray of Frost. Casting Ray of Frost. A ray of frost emits from your hands. It manages to strike the wounded Null, freezing him over. He falls to the ground and shatters. How many more are there? There's but two more. Um, shattered Null, anyone? The, na- the dazed Nulls attack you. What? They're dazed from the illusions. They manage to not hit anything. They bump into each other comically. Yeah. You guys laughed at Dancing Lights. You guys laughed at Dancing Lights. And look. I, I, I shoot two arrows. You manage to shoot two arrows. One of them flies right into the ground. You don't know how it even did that. <laughs> you, you, the other hits the knoll right in the eye. Ha-ha. I mean, did you see that in a movie or something? What do you? Uh, you gotta you gotta practice that more before you shooting two arrows. Yeah, like when has it ever hit two things? Robin Hood. No, she not you. You. Up. When have you ever hit two things with two arrows? Uh, well, dear friend, there was a uh, one night when I sat out in my yard all night and I said I'm going to shoot the two arrows. For hours and hours until I could shoot these two trees. And it didn't happen, but I got very close. <laughs> ha ha! Life is an adventure! Take chances! I throw uh, my. Uh, how many uh, knives am I allowed to throw? You can one throw or one, one at a time. I'll throw one knife at a time, it, it, whatever increases my accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling a knife from your f- pack, you throw it at a knoll. You miss. Shit. <laughs> I throw another one. No, it's not my turn. It's not, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> All right. Is it yeah, me? Yeah, go. All right. Hypnotism. Hypnotism. On one of them. You can do it on multiple. Oh. It fascinates them and makes you, makes them like in a dazed stupor. They're entitled to saves, of course. They manage to fail their saves. Mm, nice, nice. They're fascinated by your stunning, mesmerizing movements. <laughs> Perhaps the subtle swaying of your hips. Perhaps. The, st- the, the subtle swaying. Sharpie's a very good dancer. Of your hips. Gentlemen. Gentle knolls. Do I have their attention? Are they listening to me? They are wrapped. <laughs> You'll notice your feet are stuck by our tangling bushes. And dazzled by my dancing lights. You'll see that two of your friends have already moved beyond into a place I call uh, Butsalotia. Also, there's, there are arrows on the ground. For, feel free to take them. They are our gifts to you. <laughs> The, the, the first of you to, to kill the other <laughs> will, will, will join me forever by my side as my, as my faithful companion. The other will, will, will go straight to uh, a, a place where your uh, 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 face will be fitted with a custom-sized wooden box full of spiders. <laughs> As you are instructing them to do a very odd task, they're entitled to a second save, which they fail. (laughs) They fight to the death in front of you. I I, I turn my back. I do the same thing as I did in the collapsing cigarette. I just walk away dusting my shoulders off. I don't even know if I had more dust, but I just walk away. You hear the noises of gnolls ripping each other apart. I just look at a tree. Uh, like, uh, what, is that deciduous or? It's evergreen. Hmm. It's a beautiful forest. <laughs> what happened? Well, I mean, are, I guess you guys are looking, huh? He's the only one not looking. I, 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 I watch the fight and see what they, what's the outcome. The smaller, scrappier Noel managed to rip the throat out of the other one right before having his eyes gouged out by the still beating heart of the dead thing. A Heath Ledger dome. A Heath Ledger dome. Now, do do I honor your agreement with him, or should I go kill the other? Should, should I go kill the other one? Oh and, no, yeah, no. When he wakes up, he's going to try to kill us. Okay, I, 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 I attack with flaming sword. <laughs> you attack with flaming sword. You strike the knoll in the chest. 
Wait, wait, don't make it sound so min- minimal. In the chest! Yes. I mean, yeah, the, the heart's in there. It's, uh, yeah. Right, in his abdominal. Nose are like people, right? They got the, the, the vitals are in the chest, right? It's a great Usually. place to hit someone. Huh? I, Usually. I yeah. shoot one arrow. As you strike the corpse with your sword, so too an arrow flies. <laughs> the arrow that's, flies and misses. So that's are, are that's, all, that, are, that's are your arc, the, is learning to shoot one arrow. That's your character arc. Are all the nose dead? <laughs> Now? All the gnolls are dead. We now. did it! Yay! Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sh- n- now what? Loot, loot I think their we, bodies. We, 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 huh? Loot their bodies. We, oh. I, 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 I rummaged through the remains of the dead gnolls. You only managed to find a few coins. <laughs> you made that sound sexy. You made getting hit in the chest sound like nothing. You the... only managed to find a few coins. <laughs> I don't know what sexy is, you guys. <laughs> we should, we should pause our campaign there and uh, give Spencer his due uh, in applause for him. Spencer! 